Okay. Um, what's the dealio with this? So that's a, that's a, oh, okay, I see. <laughs> Go over here. And that makes me, wait, what? Okay, I just need to wait until I turn back now. Yay! Still not really a fan of how one-ups work in this version, but again, this game, th this version is really easy, so getting a game over is not really a problem. I assume I need this. Uh, I've just dropped this down. Okay, let's go back. Okay, two lives. Okay, I need to make this move somehow. Oh, wait, I, I, I see. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I see what to do. Okay, I need to get that onto the, onto the switch. And I loop around. Uh, dude. <laughs> I think me dancing to the music gl like glitched the game out there. That was good. You know, I can jump back. I've also noticed that the uh, green dot. Is that? That's the uh, item, right? Was that the... I don't know what that is. I guess it's just like, it's meant to be uh, a, a hint, more or less. Yeah, just die. Whatever. Okay. So now we just have two more areas, uh, Chunan and, uh, what is it, what's Chunan? Is it, I think it's this one. Yeah, Chunan and uh, Shamar. Oh, nope. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you have to memorize the the like flag symbol. Like that that will tell you uh, which. Where, like, where the teleporter will send you. Really? No? Huh. Okay. Well, okay then. Uh, let's uh, do the extra missions and then we'll call it a, a session here. Okay, so what do we have? Okay, we have Halosko and Chunan. And Shamar. Okay. So let's uh, get these uh, out of the way. What do you have for me, game? Oh god, okay, there's two of these. Alright. Yeah, that was... We got quite a few of the... Quite a few extra missions here. So this is an interesting one. Well, this is basic. This is pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to explain this. Just be up on a bunch of enemies. 
Not much else to say about it, really. Nice. Boom. Okay. I like how that one had to go- that barrier had to go away, like, last. <laughs> like, not- Like, you didn't, uh... Like, you didn't, uh, get rid of the barrier that was blocking me. No, you got rid of the barrier that was, like, nowhere near where I was first. Because that makes sense. Man. This is a funny game. Oh, good. No, yes, yes, Sonic's just not gonna reach there. Oh, blur. Stop this. Why am I failing so bad? Yeah, you guys. Why does Sonic, like, not aim for that? Right, there we go. I think there might be a secret item in here somewhere, but I'm not positive of that. Uh, you mind switching to... I keep forgetting what button it is. Yeah, okay, still not done. Oh, there is the item. Okay. That was uh, not hidden at all, it was right in fr front of me. <laughs> yeah! Now that's cool. I think that's exclusive to the, Wii to the Wii version, that move. Nice. Yeah, I need to use a- uh, I need to start using block more, because I- I keep on uh, taking too much- way too much damage. And just kill, throw you guys, and just kill them, and uh, that's all she wrote. Nice stuff. How okay, we're not too far from the next level up. Only like three more and then we're fully leveled up. Cool, cool stuff. Okay. Okay, so it's another don't break pots kind of thing. Um, I assume this is going to be fairly simple. Yeah, it's this. I'm just gonna ignore those guys. I'm trying to make sure there's no item. Oh, there's an item there. And I have to do a Crash Bandicoot backtracking. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. God, this is. Oh my god. Wait. Oh! Damn it! Of course, there's gonna be a. Uh, uh, something else I need to worry about. Because like, these guys. Okay, there we go. There's more? What the hell? Oh, okay. Please just be you guys. No, I see bees over there, damn it. No. Okay. Careful now. Oh, dude, hit them. Man, why'd you have to put these enemies here? Like, no, no.
Okay, let's try that again. I have no words for that. That was just stupid. No, I was gonna say, if I just immediately lose. Okay. For you. For you. This is why the time is generous. Okay, I see. I'm just gonna- I'm just not gonna run, there's no reason for me to. Okay, you get away from that. Oh my god. Like, th these- the B enemies are just- Like, they dodge ev every attack, I swear to god. What? Okay, okay, okay. The problem is that the Werehog's range is ridiculous, like, I- I- I'm- I feel like I'm gonna, uh, like, break one of these, uh, icicles or barrels, um, every time I swipe. Like, I- I don't like this. At all. No, 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 I don't know what that range is. I don't wanna use that. I I'm just gonna... Why do these enemies suck so much? Like, this is so, uh, oh my god. Why'd you put this? Why'd you put this in the game? Okay. At least it's a short area, but come on. Nice. Please be it. Please be it. Oh, come on, really? What? What do you mean? That was- Okay, easy, easy. That made sense. Like, you're at the end of the stage. But, uh, don't worry, we need you to throw, like, five bomb enemies, because... Reasons? Like, what was the point in that? Like... <laughs> what? I don't understand. Okay. Yeah, another one, another one of these. It's mainly been like Werehog today. Okay, just the starting area. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, I just see a light over there. I thought that was an item. No. Okay, screw you guys. Okay. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think this is going to be anything uh, crazy either. I think it's just this starting area. I see a wizard though. Two wi Three wizards? Okay. I see. Nice. That's how I like to see. That's how I like to see it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be handy for that move. Uh, like, cancelling that move. Especially because... Man, that goes on for a while. Nice. And then... Big scary boss enemies and get the item. Okay. That really doesn't do much. Okay. Okay, cool. Nice. Get wrecked. Okay. A 
now we've and now finally we just have uh, Shamar. Okay, what is this? Gather rings at top speed. Okay. Another one of these uh, missions. Okay. And again, this is another instance of a unique level design. I think... I do believe that there's a version of this area where it's a time attack though, so... You are going to see like this, like a full version of this later on. Well, maybe. I don't know if I'll end, end up actually finding the mission, but yeah. Point is, you do, you do see this uh, level design in another mission, so. Yeah, I tend to find that like just spamming drift just works better. On the uh, go kart thingamabob. On the, the bobsled. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Okay. So I, I, really, I don't really want to check all the guy gates again. Um, but. Yeah, um. We're gonna go to the, to the HD version now and go through Shamar, like Shamar Knight. As well as uh, just. Uh, like, after that. Um, we're um, also going to just talk to all the uh, civilians to just see if we can find any of the town missions and whatnot. Um, so yeah, see you guys. See you guys in the HD version. All right, welcome back to uh, Unleashed. Um, this is probably going to be like starting at the uh, end of the uh, Guy Gate part because um, I. The um, last time, the last thing I did in the in this playthrough was uh, go through a bunch of guy gate puzzle rooms in in the Wii um, and whatnot. So yeah, this is probably going to be uh, put together with that um, because yeah, this is being recorded like probably like a week or so later. But yeah, now it's time to do uh, Aratan's Night on the HD version, and like I said in the um, in by the end of um, the Wii level, I would say that I actually prefer the um, the uh, night stage here. Um, two of the main reasons why is that I feel like it, it um, what is it? I, I feel like it challenges you a lot more with the uh, the uh, fighting than, than the uh, Wii version. And I feel like the area is, the areas are just more um, open, like not to a like great extent or, or whatever, but um, the areas in the Wii version were pretty boxed in. Um, like there were some some good uh, secret paths and um, items to find and whatnot, but the uh, main pathway through the stage tended to be um, pretty pretty boxed in, like there, there wasn't a lot of room to move around and find stuff in, um, and the secrets tended to be like little rooms off to the side if you will, um, whereas I feel like with how the areas are more spacious here, it makes it a lot more fun to just look around and find things because there's more room, there's more room uh, and there's more chances for items to be like spaced around places, um, and there is still some platforming here. It's not a lot, but there is still some of that here. And the the secrets I would say are even better in this version because um, what is it? Stuff like um, in Act One, I think, of the Wii version, where you went up to an upper pathway to get like an item or whatever. Um, there's something similar here too and there's like a couple more things like that. Like secret areas that are like just some random things like off the beaten pathway that reward exploration with stuff so. 
new, new move we can do. I've been trying to learn some new uh, combos with the Werehog. Um, there's some cool stuff. Because if I do like four regular attacks, I can launch them in the air like that, which is really cool. And uh, I may as well show this off, but like, yep. If I charge punch this guy, or try to. <laughs> Yeah, I can actually damage him um, when he's like on fire, but I'm just gonna have to tank a hit. So it's not always recommended. Oh, he's destroying me right now. It's not exactly recommended, but you can do it if you want to just get some cheap hits in, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's all taken care of. Good stuff. Unfortunately, like the Wii version, I don't know if we'll ever end up actually getting, um, like, uh, enough time to actually be able to hear the music here because, again, Aratan's Night is one of the best themes in the game, but you barely get to hear any of it. So, yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, yeah, I think. I don't think there's anything else here. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I... I do like how the final three stages um, focus on different things. Like, Empire City fo focused on the platforming side specifically. This focuses on the... Um, big exploration and the uh, combat side, because um, in terms of combat, this is definitely the, the hardest the uh, Werehog has been up to this point, um, so I think I think that's a good thing, uh, makes you, uh, like, forces you to actually be decent at this, uh, at the uh, gameplay in, a, in different ways for the stages and whatnot, um, and yeah. Now I believe. Um, yeah, we need to we need to find a box. So I'll just take care of these guys first. I'll just for you go for this guy. You? Oh, come on. Ready? Screw it. Yeah, sometimes you just say screw it. <laughs> if there's water near you, then you might be able to get away with, a way of doing that. Yeah, um, I'm not finding a lot of medals, that's a bit worrying. I don't particularly need them, but... Okay, um, I swear there's like a random box somewhere. Oh god. Uh, oh here we go, yeah. Okay, so we take this. This is one of those secrets I was talking about earlier. Um, well, you get to get this box. And you get a secret room. Yeah, it's just stuff like that that make that puts this uh, version over the uh, over the edge for me. Because I feel like these secrets are a little bit more involved. Um, like just some interactive puzzles and whatnot that reward you uh, for like exploring the levels a bit more. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the I feel like this version just does it more organically than the uh, Wii version does. If that makes any sense. And like I said earlier, with the uh, upper path. 
go up here. And we have that here too. Metal. Yeah, it's just generally just a little bit more open. There's there's more room to explore, basically. Oh, hi. Then these guys have an laugh. How you doing? Yeah, I don't know where I'd rank Arid Sands overall. Um, but it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good continent overall, I'd say. Uh, I don't know if I'd say it's one of my favorites, but uh, it has a good set of stages, both day and night. Um, the day stage, like like I said in an earlier part, um, is one of the more difficult parts, difficult day stages up to this point. Um, and again, we're in the second half of the game now, so it's warranted for the game to be a bit more challenging. Like, levels have been ramping up in difficulty. Um, they've required a lot more quick reaction times and uh, uh, whatnot. They, it, they, they're starting to require a bit more from the player. Um, and that's one thing I do really like about Unleashed. I feel like the game ramp, ramps up in difficulty just um, in a pretty reasonable um, way, like, it starts off not insultingly easy, but still pretty easy, um, and then it gets gradually more and more difficult, um, and by the, end, by the end of the game, you really need to, like, know your stuff, otherwise you're probably gonna get wrecked, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I do appreciate that about this game, um, and it's something that I feel like recent Sonic games have kind of lacked, um, well, I still love colors, I still love gens, but one thing that I always kind of didn't like in those games is that I feel like by the end of the game, it isn't really that much harder than the beginning. Um, like, there's obviously, like, going to be differences and whatnot, but I feel like, I don't know, Rooftop Run compared to, like, Green Hill in Generations, I feel like... I feel like the difficulty jump isn't that substantial compared to like um, Windmill Isle in this game compared to, um, uh, well, since we're here, Arid Sands. Like, I feel like there's a massive, like, like there's a major difference in difficulty there. Like Windmill Isle, like you don't have um, too many. Uh, what do you call it? Like the game isn't too demanding. Like, it gives you plenty of time to react to things. If you miss quick time events, you don't die, you just get sent to a bottom path. Um, like, the rail section is really simple, you just have to dodge spikes that are easy to see coming. Um, and all this other stuff, like, it's a very simple stage and it's not trying to be too difficult. It's, it's a good beginner level. Um, but then you go to Arid Sands and uh, you have all these pillars falling down that you have to react to fast two. Um, you have um, these uh, 2D section, 2D platforming sections that um, require you to react fast otherwise you're going to fall into a pit. Um, you have, uh, what you call it, you have the quick step section at the end where if you, if you don't play it well or if you, uh, if you uh, mess it up you're going to fall into a pit and die. Um, the game rewards you for in some of the in the sections by making it so you have to do a bunch of moves consecutively if you want to get um, through them fast. Like you have to like stomp into you have to like stomp into a boost to a slide uh, to a quick step, etc. etc. Like it. Th there's a um, there's a good. Scale, like, I'm having a hard time with words right now, but I feel like it, this game just does a good job in scaling the difficulty, as opposed to late, like, generations of colors, really. Um, but, you know. So I feel like games should get harder. If a, if a game is just easy throughout the whole thing, then I kind of feel like it misses the point. I will say this though, um, I do feel like the ranking system in Colors 
kind of kind of does negate the issue in quite a bit um, because that requires you to uh, be really good at the game if you want to get like S ranks and whatnot. But if we're talking like casually, then yeah, colors is pretty damn easy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna actually save those rings. Th this is probably gonna be a bad idea, but uh, if you go up here, it's a it's a um, extra area where you have to fight a bunch of enemies, and uh, it goes on for quite a while. So hopefully, I can do this. Um, I. Don't remember how hard this, this is supposed to be, but I remember it being pretty rough. Uh, but hey, we can try. One thing I will say, like I've said it a bit before, but uh, the one thing I would have liked to have in this game is um, make it so it's actually worth using other combos for the Werehog outside of. Um, making the... what am I trying to say? Um, like, there, there are reasons to use other combos, like, um, some moves are better suited for certain situations and whatnot, but I feel like if they made it so... if they made it so, um, um, if you use different, um, variety of com... a different variety of combos more often, it, um, it reflects in your final score. So, if I got, if I did, um, if I went through the stage, and um, I, I got um, an A rank, that should be because I, um, I just spam the same couple combos. But if I got an S rank, that should mean I did like a variety of moves and got more points because of it. Because of it. Um, but I feel like. That would give people more of a reason to experiment. I, I know I said some. I know I talked a bit about this in the uh, in uh, Empire City, but I I wanted to uh, just I don't know expand on, on that a little bit. But if you just good with the combat, then you should be fine. I like how the music has to keep restarting, by the way. Yeah, that wasn't actually too, uh, so bad. I was expecting much worse. So, just to be sure, we did get all the stuff here, right? But yeah, I know like a lot of people struggle with that section. Like, they go up here and then they just get bombarded with like all the wizards and bees and whatnot. Uh, but, yeah, if you... I feel like that's the that that therein lies the key difference between someone who uh, just spams the same couple moves and someone who <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I I do feel like I feel like I know the combat system in this game decently well enough. Um, so it's like again, it's very possible to go through most of the game and just spam the same couple moves, but if you do that, there are some parts where that you are going to struggle with like that. Um, secret room there, um, so, yeah, there are benefits to using other combos, it's just, I feel like there isn't enough, if you, may, if you uh, catch my drift, like, it, it, I feel like if they just did a little bit more, then the, the Werehog would be a lot more light overall, well, maybe, there's always going to be people complaining that it's a God of War clone, it's uh, not Sonic enough, it's uh, all this other stuff, but, if you just, um, uh, if you just uh, focus on what the com what this uh, playstyle has on its own merits instead of what it doesn't have, then I feel like you could get something really great if you were uh, just um, expanded on it a bit more. Because um, again, what what is here I think is solid. Um, it's ju it just it just needs a bit more fleshing out in some areas, and it'll be great, I think. Because I, 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 I will say that, say again, this is my favourite Sonic game, but I will never say that it's perfect. There, there's always going to be 
room for improvement here. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to deny that. But no, this game isn't perfect. Oh, okay, that was funky looking. <laughs> I'll I'll take that. I'll just kill that guy. Yeah, and again, like the Warhog even has like um, more advanced stuff. Like you can uh, you can use um, an aerial combo to do platforming faster. Um, you have, again, you have a variety of combos that do, that are good for different things. And you have, and you can use your shield to, um, not only just do your basic blocking, but you can also use it to, uh, cancel animations and, uh, attacks. So if you want to, like, stop a combo early, then you can, for whatever reason you'd want to do that. Because there, there are reasons, again, like, uh, like the animation is just taking too long. It's not actually, like, you're combo already killed the enemy so there's no point continuing it so you may as well cancel it and then quickly uh, dish out another combo to another enemy like there are advanced techniques to the werehog that uh, I don't really see it, uh, people use because most of the time it doesn't really encourage you too much outside of outside of just general uh, I don't know, satisfaction or like, per I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> like, I feel like, again, I, I feel like if they just made it so that all this stuff led to a better rank, that alone would make this, like, so much better. That's the main thing, really. But, yeah. Oh, god. Well, that sucks. I don't think I, I, yeah, I can't get that stuff up there now. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm not really sure how I feel about the breakable uh, ledges like that. You wanna... It's stuck. Damn it. Mm. It's good stuff. Uh, let's just get a move on. Ah, come on. Okay, this is the end of the main stage. I am gonna try something though. Uh, it's probably gonna make me lose um, uh a rank, like, it's probably gonna make me get a really crappy rank. But, uh... Oh god. Oh god, I forgot there was a, there was a third one. Okay, don't, don't go into the goal, please. I don't want to go into the goal yet. Grab all this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this goes on for quite a bit. I do want to clear out all these enemies so I can just... <laughs> I like... God, this game's funny. Like, it just changes the music for... Well, I know why, the, the Titan is gone, but like, it's just like, why... Why don't you just keep it going until when the enemies are all dead? You don't have to do it. You don't have to, like, do it like this. Alright. Okay, just grab this. Doing my best to avoid that key. Because I don't want to finish the level yet. Okay. 
medal there. We missed a bunch of medals here. I do not remember where they are. Well, I know we missed like one medal back there because of the uh, the the uh, breakable ledge or whatever. I'm gonna try something. No, that's, that's not it. 